Hello again. The the next few days of our of our time together considering these themes in Advent, um, we're going to look at passages from the book of Habakkuk. Uh, Habakkuk is one of the most interesting names in the Bible, but it's also one of the most interesting books in some ways. Uh, it is a dialogue between a prophet and God. Uh, and this prophet is making a complaint to God and listening to God's answer. Uh, and, and the basics of the complaint is simply that God is not dealing with the problems of the world, that God has not done the things that he has promised yet. And, and so our passage today kind of gets into this. This is Habakkuk speaking in chapter 2, verse 1. Uh, and then in verse 2, God is going to answer. So it says this, Habakkuk speaking, it says, I will take my stand at my watch post and station myself on the tower and look out to see what he will say to me and what I will answer concerning my complaint. He said, I'm going to station myself and watch for God, wait for God to give me the answer I want. Verse 2, and the Lord answered me. Write this vision, make it plain on tablets so he may run who reads it. For still the, va- the vision awaits its appointed time. It hastens to the end. It will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come and it will not delay. This is about the time of December that, that kids really start to get antsy for Christmas. Especially those of you who, who decorate early. Uh, the, the earlier you decorate, the earlier you hit this moment, I feel like. Because at, at this point of the year, we have watched some of the Christmas movies. We have done a lot of the fun preparatory Christmas activities. But we have not actually celebrated Christmas. And and for many, there are presents under the tree and and they are almost mocking us. Will Christmas ever actually get here? Will Christmas ever actually come? Will Will it ever be time to get down under the tree and to open the presents? I think sometimes that's the way we view the promises of God. These, these things that he promised that we talked about in week one, the promise of the forgiveness of sins, the promise of being made righteous, the promise of God's holiness in our lives. And we look at our lives and we consider our lives and, and we say, but I'm still not holy. I'm still not righteous. I'm still not good. I'm still, I'm still sinful. We say, God, are you ever going to keep your promise? And the Christmas answer is yes, he did keep his promise. And he does. And what what God says to Habakkuk here is important. If it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. I do Taekwondo with the kids and uh, when I received my black belt, that verse was written in Korean on my black belt. That's one of the things the instructors do for their students is they, they place a, a phrase or a, a sometimes a Bible verse on the, the belt that's supposed to symbolize your journey. And, and they put that on there because I have this great desire to be able to do everything that those far advanced of me do. And I end up hurting myself because I'm not always patient in my work. Being patient doesn't mean not working hard. Being patient does not mean striving. (laughs) It doesn't mean to give up striving for righteousness. It simply means that we, we wait as we know that God is slowly doing work in us. And so as you consider your shortcomings this Christmas, as this week of preparation, we have considered the, 
the things that we have that are wrong in our lives, the sins that are continuing to plague our lives, we, we don't give up working on those things, but we also recognize and, and are willing to be patient as we wait for God to work and to change us. May God bless you.